guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Really appreciate you uh, coming down for a lesson. We're going to learn this classic Bob Dylan tune. Uh, I'm going to show you the easy progression, then the finger picking, so hang tight for that. Also, thanks for supporting what I do here, Marty Music. If you haven't yet, I'd really appreciate you subscribing here to the channel, clicking that bell notification, and then also I've got a bunch of links down below, uh, great guitar learning resources, so check those out. And let's learn the tune right now. Here we go. All right, capo on the fourth fret, and then we play it as if it was in the key of C. Uh, I'm going to show you the chord progression first, then we'll talk about finger picking. So just think of this just down and down, down, you know, with down with the thumb, basically, or a pick. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That feel. So we go C, G, A minor walk down note so c g which i'm playing with ring middle and pinky so c g a minor then i'm grabbing a little walk down note on the third fret up on the e string then an f chord and i'm playing the f bar chord followed by C to G. One and two and G and two and. So from the top so far, C and G and two and a minor and two and. Walk down note, F, C, G. Now it, next part, C, G, A minor. So that's the same, but now we play D7. which is like a D major, but with the first fret in the B string. Now you could also play the second fret in the bass or the D string in the bass. I like that second fret, add some nice tension to it. And then a G chord followed by G7. Another reason why I'm playing G with, the, with this fingering is you've got your pinky and then you go to G7 and it becomes the first fret. So from the top, C, G, A minor, babe. Walk down note, F, no, by C, G, and C, G, Y minor. Walk down note again, just like before, but now D7. So I didn't mention that, but that gives you that, gives you a nice little bass note. So from the top, C, G, A minor, walk down note, F, C, G, C, G, A minor, babe, walk down note, D7, G, G7, all right, so now here's the next section, I guess we could call it the chorus, so it goes, when you're C, C, C7, so you just take a C major chord, you add your pinky to the third fret up on that G string with the C chord, so that becomes C7, so when you're C crows, C7 dawn, now F, F, D7, C, G, A minor, F, C, G, C. So that's the that's the whole song chord wise. So let me go from that refrain when the rooster crows line. When the C crows, C seven, F, D seven, C, G, A minor, F, C, G, C. All right, so let's do the whole progression from the top, then we'll talk about. You know, you're gonna want the chords down before you start thinking about that. And you can play this, one of the, you know, one of these, like one of the greatest songs ever written, uh, you know, just my opinion, Bob Dylan, obviously, but you could uh, strum the whole thing with a pick.
and many have. So don't, you know, don't be afraid not to do the finger picking thing. But anyway, here we go from the top. One, two, here we go. C, G, A minor, babe. Walk down note F. C, G, again, C, G, A minor, babe. Walk down note, but D7 now. G, G7, when the C crows. C7, F to D7. C, G, A minor, F, C, G, C. And actually on that refrain, anytime you've got, um, you can add that walk down note there too. So like C, C7. So that, once again, uh, you're the reason I'm traveling on. So, uh, you're the reason I'm traveling on. Just that walk down note again. When the rooster crows at the break of dawn, do, 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 I'll be gone. C, G, A minor, walk down F. C, G, C. Okay, so now basically we want to talk about this Travis picking thing and you can improvise. Uh, you know, there's room to improvise with it. Also, these are these open cowboy chords. So any string you individually pick with pretty much all these chords, nothing's gonna like be wrong. You know, if you just randomly picked with your fingers. Um, however, there's a, some great Travis picking patterns. And so for the C chord, Basically, we're hitting the A string with the thumb, and then it rolls over to the D. So for the C chord, you're going. And then you're adding things with it and in between it. So the first is that. Then we're gonna pinch, meaning hit two strings at the same time, thumb on the D and middle finger on the B string. So it looks like this. Then we go back to the A string alone. So. So A pinch, A G. Then D string with thumb. and then B string, so. Now, that's a C chord there. However, any any of the times that you played the B string on that pinch or on the... Anytime you want, you could play the high E instead of it. So that's where you can add some of those... Uh, cool variations, but let's just start with the standard one, especially if you're a beginner out there. And then you just got to speed it up, but start real slow. Now for the G chord, it's the same thing. But instead of the A string with the thumb, it's the E string because that's the root of the G chord. I did nothing new. Except the first root note. 
same as the C chord, but it's just that E string, right? So that also means I can substitute the B for the high E. So you just gotta start slow, but you put them together. And then the A minor is the same right hand pattern as the C chord, so. And so you can try and hit that bass note just like we did with the strumming, so. So another thing that I'm adding is instead of pinching every time, you also have the standard um, Travis picking pattern without the pinch, which is just um, like for an F chord, for instance. No pinch, just E string, G, D, B. The only thing different is with the pattern. If you want, you can pinch with that second note in that bass. So without the pinch, it helps with the with the um, bass note, with that walk down note. like left the pinch out on that walk down note. Now the D7 to the G, G7. C, I leave the pinch out, and then I add that seven there, so no pinching for that, which adds that feel, and then back to it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thanks again for hanging out. You know, you can request stuff in the comments below. And while you're down there, I appreciate you liking the video and subscribing here to Marty Music. So thanks again, and I uh, hope to see you later.